Facebook. Hello, hello. It is Sunday morning, middle of the night, Saturday night. It's 12.02 in the morning, and I am currently watching Hallmark murder mystery movies, and I just got done eating and snacking. I actually ate the whole bag of these. Normally I don't, but they were so good I couldn't stop eating. And you know I eat in courses. Food, savory snack. And then I gotta have my sweet. My sweet is what I'm chasing. Like my meal is not done until I get my sweet fix. So that being said, I wanna eat with some of the ice cream I bought, but you know it takes ice cream like 12 hours before it gets hard when you buy it. I'm just gonna eat one by itself and then the other three I'm gonna eat with the ice cream or red velvet cupcakes. So I'm gonna eat and sit here and watch Hallmark Martin Mystery movies and start editing this vlog and try to get it up for today. And that's what's on the menu for tonight. And these have icing in the middle. But I'm not that big of a fan of the icing because it's not really cream cheese. I think it says it is, but I don't know, it tastes weird. I just eat a little bit with the cake, but I don't really eat the icing, or I might eat it with the ice cream, not so much alone. Most of the icing is gonna be left over. I'm gonna eat one of these, start editing, and watch these movies. It's on commercial now, but. And I'm gonna do a review for a couple things before I go to bed, because I've been meaning to do it. So I'm gonna do that too. So that's coming up. Okay, so first of all, let me say hello, hello. It is Sunday late afternoon, it's 4.34. I woke up like an hour ago, starting my day. I'm gonna show y'all the food that Mama Dukes cooked cause she cooked up a mini feast. And if y'all watch my vlogs, you know that I love my mom's cornbread dressing. Best thing in the world to eat. So she made some cornbread dressing she just took this out of the oven in order to make dressing normally you need turkey but you can also use a chicken like a whole chicken a hen she used a hen and this is the juice from the hen this is the hen all cut up and i like for her to separate the juice because i like to be able to pour the juice over my dressing because dressing is a drying food so i like to be able to pour the juice over this is not for me here this looks like some kind of beans and neck bone she made that for my uncle because y'all know he has to have his beans she made some mac and cheese which i wouldn't eat that because my mama does not know how to make macaroni and cheese it looks better than the last time though but i don't eat macaroni and cheese and i know how to make it right but uh made some barbecue ribs don't see much of the barbecue so you definitely gotta add some more barbecue to this it's kind of missing some barbecue sauce here's a little bit definitely not enough for me and then her infamous cornbread that everybody in the family loves i think my mom makes the best cornbread in the family right now everybody loves her cornbread mini feasts only thing I'm going to eat though really is the chicken and the dressing over there. Yeah. I am going to sit down for a little bit. I'm not going to eat just yet because like I said I just got up and I still got mouthwash and toothpaste in my mouth to taste and I don't like to eat with that in my mouth. I'm going to wait a little bit and I am going to go in here and start editing the vlog that I was supposed to work on last night that I did it because I guess I just really wasn't in the mood so I'm gonna start working on that right now and I'm gonna try to get that up today I will be back later so this is my first plate of the dressing and the hen chicken hen same difference it's a little soft this time she made it kind of soft so i'm hoping that it's gonna taste good i haven't had any that didn't taste good but it's just really soft but i added some salt and black pepper to it we'll be eating good for the next 
few days. Then when I get done, I'm gonna eat me some of my corn poppers and then eat me some butter pecan ice cream with one of my red velvet cupcakes. So now I am eating red velvet cupcake with butter pecan ice cream. So bomb, and these are stuffed um, cupcakes. There's icing on the inside too. I don't really eat that much of that icing because it's too much. Like when these bakeries make cupcakes, their ratio of icing to cupcakes is off all the time. Doesn't matter where you get it from. They feel like you need more icing than you need cake. Like it should be half the icing that it is. And especially because it has icing on the inside. But any kind of cupcakes, they give you so much icing and it's not enough cake. When I eat just cupcakes by itself, I always end up having so much icing left over because the ratio just doesn't make any sense. But I'll take some of the icing and mix it in the ice cream. That way when I have a bite of the ice cream, get that little pop of icing. So I'm gonna break this up in the ice cream and eat it together. I'll eat cake and ice cream like this, but I will not buy like an actual cake and ice cream. That's just different to me. It tastes different. No. But like this, yes. Where I put the cake with the ice cream. It's just different to me. I am in the process of starting to edit another vlog. I was going to throw a little review, review comparison clip into today's vlog when I look at today's vlog that I'm currently about to start editing I don't really have enough content the review comparison video is like 10 minutes alone so I'm gonna just make that a vlog of its own it'll just be just that a review comparison vlog and I'm gonna just do two days. I'm gonna do today and tomorrow. And that'll be a vlog. So there's gonna be two more vlogs coming up instead of one. So I'm gonna start working on the review comparison vlog. That can be tomorrow's vlog since it's a standalone video. Today and tomorrow can go live Tuesday. I have a vlog for I just uploaded one today I'm gonna upload I'm gonna set the review comparison to be to go live tomorrow and then this vlog will go live Tuesday it just makes more sense to do it that way virtual school because I just refuse to let him go back to campus because I'm not stupid but thank god he's 13 he's had his orientation he has his ipad so he knows what to do I am going to vlog today and I'm going to finish editing the vlog that I started editing a few hours ago but I'm just too tired to finish. I want to stay on top of my vlogging. We'll see y'all later when I get back up. Hello. Hello. I finally have a unboxing that's not related to the room. Even though I do have another package that is related to the room. So it won't be a part of this. But if you watch my vlogs and you know a couple months ago maybe now i got why is this this i got this foundation from i don't know how you say it i i don't know i will just show you 
And this is in the shade. I woke up like this, 175. When I tell you, this is the best foundation that I have ever used in my entire life. When I tell you it looks like my natural skin, it looks like I have on no makeup. I've never seen makeup that literally looks like your own damn skin. Like, I'm addicted. This is definitely the most expensive makeup I've ever bought, but it is so worth it. And then it's so lightweight. You don't feel it. I love it. So, when I'm on Snapchat, the ad for the company always runs and that's how i found out about them because when i'm watching people snaps after their snaps their ads will show up sorry their ads will show up so that's how i found out about them and i guess now that their foundation is selling really good they are now promoting their concealer and you know most of the time well pretty much all the time concealer is meant to brighten under the eye and i mean that's all well and everything but when i saw that they had concealer that looks like your natural under eye but it still covers dark circles or bags or whatever you're using it for other than brightening it looks like your natural skin i was like oh my god i have to try it with that being said i ordered some concealer just like with the foundation and how their website works and even Juvia's Place, Juvia's Place, I'm not sure if I'm saying it right. It's basically you take a quiz and you just hope that they get the color right and they definitely got my color right with the foundation and the foundation is also matte which I need because my nose is oily. I need that and I don't really want to oily based foundation anyway so i prefer a matte finish but i mean why not have concealer that looks like your natural under eye but still covers what you wanted to cover i'm hoping that the tone is going to be the right color I hit it out of the park with the foundation and I wasn't sure about that when I opened it at first. I was like, when I opened it, I was like, oh, this isn't going to work. But then when I put it on my face, I was like, oh my God, it's perfect. This is what the box looks like on the inside. And they love to put little quotes. Untraditional, uncompromising, undeniably extra. And then there's a quote on the outside of the box that says, there's no such thing as too much. So they're talking about me so once you get through the black tissue paper and i love that they keep their colors simple black and silver it's so sleek and just looks so professional i love it just just so chic and it comes from new york this is what it looks like the box and it says Fuck, I'm flawless. <laughs> That's cute. <clears throat> so this is the Fuck, I'm Flawless Multi-Use Perfecting Concealer. And this is in the number 13. So let's just open it. I'm not going to put it on my face right now. Oh, okay. So this is what they say is my color. It's definitely not showing up on camera how dark it actually is. But it's darker than what it's showing. And they say do not try it on your hand because your hand and your face are different colors and that is very true because i tried the foundation on my hand and that's when i was just like oh i don't know if it's gonna match but then when i put it on my face i was like it's perfect when i do try this i will let y'all know i'm super excited about it because i've seen the ads where other women try it and you can't even tell they got on no concealer i'm like that is just bomb i think it being this way versus lightening the eye the under eye is better in my opinion 
when I do try it, I will let y'all know. So I'm super excited about this. But you can return it in 14 days and they won't bill you for it. But if you keep it, then they'll bill you for it. And the thing is I got every three month subscription. So they'll send you another one every three months. Same thing with the foundation. That is that. But I am going to do a little rant right now. I'm so sick of doing rants, but sometimes you have to rant because people just don't act right. I was on this other website, well not website, but this other app where I go live. There are a couple apps where I go live all the time. People on there know about my vlog and they watch it. Some of them have followed me or subscribed to my vlog. And this one girl, she came on my live and she seemed cool. I ended up blocking her for a minute after she insulted me. After she said what I'm about to tell y'all, but then I went back and unblocked her. But she was like, oh yeah, I watch your vlogs and I really like them. And I was like, okay, thank you, but did you just watch or did you subscribe? She was like, I don't subscribe to smaller channels. And that was so fucking insulting. I was just like, so basically you're saying that because I don't have a big following on YouTube that my vlog is not worth you subscribing, but yet you watch my vlog and you've made it clear that you like my vlog. Like if that's how you feel, if that's how you roll, cool, but keep that to yourself. You don't tell a vlogger, oh yeah, I watch your vlogs and I like your vlogs, but I'm not going to subscribe to your channel. And she was like, I'm a marketer. So basically, she only subscribes to channels that are bigger, have a bigger following, have more subscribers, have more likes. Which in reality, it really shouldn't matter. If you enjoy watching that person's vlogs, whether they have one subscriber or a hundred million or a hundred thousand, it doesn't matter. The point is you like watching them. You like their content. You like what they're about. You like what they say. You like what they do. And you've made it clear that you like my vlogs. Why wouldn't you want to subscribe? And then if you're a marketer, why wouldn't you want to help my vlog grow? Why wouldn't you want to maybe post it on wherever you are and bring more traffic to my vlog and help my vlog to grow? But at the end of the day, for you to say that to me is it's disrespectful, it's rude, and you just don't do that. I would never say that to another vlogger. Oh yeah, I like your vlogs, but I'm not gonna subscribe to your channel like who does that that's so insulting and i put a lot of work and time into my vlog and truth be told and we all know this if you're a vlogger then you know this a lot of these bigger channels bigger youtubers they don't even edit their own vlogs they pay people to edit their vlogs but i feel like as a vlogger if i if my channel blew up tomorrow I'm still going to be the one to edit my vlogs because I feel like a part of being a vlogger is not just shooting and even some of them don't even shoot their own content they pay people to shoot all they do is show up and do whatever but a lot of them don't shoot their own content they don't edit their own content and then some of them they shoot their content but then they don't edit it and I feel like a part of a vlogger is shooting your own content and editing your own content not paying somebody to do it for you it's a whole process and a lot of vloggers once they've gotten so big and they're making all this money they get lazy and they feel like oh now i'm too good to edit my own vlogs i'm too good to shoot my own content i don't want to take hours editing anymore but that's a part of the process <clears throat> truth be told my little ass vlog, I put more work into it than a lot of these bigger vloggers. I shoot my own content. I edit my own content. I put a lot of fucking time into my vlogs. So it's insulting on that level to hear somebody tell me, oh, I like your vlogs, but I'm not going to subscribe to your channel. And I put all that work into my vlogs. Like I said, if that's how you feel, if that's how you roll, cool, but keep it to yourself. How dare you say that directly to a vlogger? And it doesn't even make sense. The whole point in subscribing to somebody's channel is because you like their vlog. You like what they say, you like what they do, you like what they're about. 
you subscribing to somebody's channel should have nothing to do with how many subscribers they have how many likes they have if you're not actually going to sit and watch their vlogs and enjoy it you should not be subscribed to their channel anyway like that's crazy is is hell and i get it like even me as a vlogger i watch other vloggers i don't subscribe to every vlogger that i watch even though even some of the ones i may like that's not necessarily realistic but would i tell them oh yeah i like your vlog but i'm not gonna subscribe to it that's rude as hell if I feel like I like their vlog or I don't like their vlog and I'm not going to subscribe, I would never tell them that. Because I don't know how much work they put into it, how much time they put into it. And at the end of the day, it's just rude. It's disrespectful. You just don't do that. I just wanted to point that out because that really rubbed me the wrong way. It's rude as fuck to say that to somebody. It is what it is. I'm definitely not going to be cool with her on the other app anymore because that was just rude it was disrespectful i didn't deserve that and it just don't make no fucking sense and my vlog is worth anybody following my vlog is no less than any other vloggers regardless of how many subscribers i have how many likes i have my vlog is no less worthy than anybody else's vlog well, how dare her say some shit to me like that like my vlog is not worthy because i don't have a lot of subscribers my vlog is just as worthy and bitch you like it you've already made that known so you don't even make no sense i am going to end this vlog here i hope that you enjoyed like always don't forget to subscribe and i will see you in my next one